Yeah! Righteous! Oh! Hi YouTube, Game Master Crafter here. Boy, I've got some fun stuff for today. Uh, it's really exciting, really exciting. So uh, we have a, a giveaway, right? Uh, like we do most videos on our last episode, we talked about the uh, air elemental and uh, today we get to find out who wins that. Now, everybody who commented gets a, uh, and subscribed gets to be, uh, you know, gets a chance to win. Um, so we had commenters, we only had four, so we have a lot of chance, you guys have a good chance to win, right? Bard's Craft, we have uh, John TLL, we have um, Tyark Shetler, and the green one. The green one commented twice, so he gets two chances to win. Um, so remember guys, the more you comment, the more chances you have to win. Uh, so uh, yeah, so we have everybody's name on here, and one of them's a reroll because, you know, for number six. So, uh, you guys ready to see who wins? Let's let's see who does this, all right? A bit good shake. Ah, uh, boom! The green one! Oh, green one, you are the winner, my friend! Excellent, excellent, you're all my friends, but hey. Uh, so go ahead and uh, send me a private message on Instagram or Facebook. Um, uh, links will be down below, at the Game Masters Crafters, uh, in both places, um, or send us an email. Uh, that will be down below too. You send us your address and we'll get that right out to you. Uh, that, awesome. I, I love giving you guys fun stuff. Um, speaking of fun stuff, last episode we were talking about the obelisk we created. Well, yes. I went and I did a couple things to it. Okay, so we got our, our obelisk here. Let's say your uh, your party goes up and they say, we want to knock the obelisk over. We want to we want to we want to destroy it. Boom, they knock it over. Whoa, there's a treasure underneath. Whoa, look at that, isn't that crazy? Or let's say they go, I'm gonna strike it down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it in half, boom. <laughs> you can have that happen too. Then a monster can come out, right? Rawr, and attack them. So, remember guys, comment on the last video so you can win this too. Um, I am gonna secure it just a little bit better with a couple more magnets, because I love magnets. Um, but uh, yeah, I wanted to show you pretty much the final piece there. Looks really nice. Really nice little little uh, little uh, little uh, obelisk there. Make sure you comment in this video to be able to win the obelisk. Remember, the more you comment, the better chances you have to win. What a couple giveaways ago, someone commented twenty-seven times. Lo and behold, they won. <laughs> Go figure. You guys can do that too. All right. Uh, I can't wait to see who wins all this fun stuff. Excellent. next, we have something truly awesome, uh, and it involves another giveaway, don't worry. Um, there's a company that I really like, uh, and they are called uh, Cicada Crafts. Um, I, shop, I shop from them, um, and the thing I like best that they have is this thing called uh, two pounds, four pounds, six pounds, eight pounds, ten pounds of odds and ends. Pretty much it's all the castings that had little bubbles in them or minor uh, imperfections and they couldn't you know, sell them as a normal and so they sell them in bulk. Now these are made out of hydrostone, which is like five times, 10 times stronger than plaster. Um, they are plaster, um, but I, I, I brought some of the ones that I've gotten before. Um, these are, I got all of these in one order, $30. And it didn't come to me as quickly as they thought it should, so they actually refunded my uh, my shipping on it. I came all uncolored, like these, you know, white ones, and I painted them all. They're so much fun. I, I you know, I, I asked for um, uh, for terrain scatter or um, tavern scatter and dungeon scatter, and that's what I got. Um, but it, beyond that, I even got some more cool things. Um, let me grab those real quick. Just a couple examples. I, I, I asked them for doors. I sent them a, a private message and said, hey, when I get this order, I really want doors. So they sent me, and I got a bunch more behind me, 
every door that they owned. If they didn't have one that they could give me, you know, that was wasn't it was imperfect, they casted one for me. Uh, and in fact, this guy right here, um, one it was one that um, the uh, the gal who runs Cicada Crafts, her late father actually crafted this um, this doorway. It's got a little you know, secret entrance. Um, one of my uh, adventuring parties uh, came across this, and uh, I used this for the um, uh, Dragon Heist Waterdeep mission. And this was the the door to the vault to the the Dragon Horde, and I called him Mr. Wizardly, and my group still talks about him to this day. In fact, almost every time they ask, when are we gonna see Mr. Wizardly again? They expect him to pop up around every corner. Um, it, 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 just, just awesome, just awesome. Cicada Crafts, I can't say enough how good they are. Now this isn't a sponsorship because it's a review because I shop with them. I actually ordered two more pounds of stuff from them and I sent them a private message and they said, hey, we, we like your stuff and everything you do. Let's send you some extra stuff. If you want to do an unboxing, I was like, yay. So um, we got some stuff to unbox and they said there's a giveaway item too. So I wanted to kind of show you what Cicada Crafts is all about. All right, so here's what we got. Uh, I got two packages. We'll open up the light one first. We'll open up the light one. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. Oh, packaging my favorite. Oh, I can use this when I wait in line, right? Because that's what I love to do. Let's see here. These are for whatever you want to do. You can keep some and give some away. <laughs> Have fun painting. Oh man. oh man, what do we get, what do we get? All right, I'm gonna put this over here and just pull from it. Cicada Crafts Original Designs. Oh, oh my, oh, oh, this is so cool. It's, 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 it's um, 3D printed. It, a blacksmith's forge. Oh man. Oh, um, fountains, fountains. And a door, <laughs> oh, and, and open doorways. They said that they printed more doors. I was so excited. This goes in here. This goes in here. So you can have an open doorway or a closed one. <laughs> oh man, that's so awesome. A little brazier for you to put your coals in and, and everything. Oh, that's neat. Oh, that's so cool. Oh man, let's see what else we got, huh? Ooh, there's a bunch. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to paint all this stuff. Because for the giveaway, of course I'll paint it for you first. Don't worry. Oh, a giant spider. This guy's leg over here, one of his legs over here. That's okay, super glue does the job. Oh, oh, it was one that, that attached originally anyway, that got um, printed and attached. That's awesome, big giant spider. Ooh, oh, um, oh, I can't think of the name of it. It doesn't have it on the bottom. Uh, a monster, ooh, arr, scary, I can't remember his name. That's cool. Let's see, gargoyle, awesome. A little cot, like, uh, you know, for your campfire. Oh, and a little tent for your tent. <laughs> like that made sense, but that's okay. Ooh, a neat little, like, sarcophagi, coffin thing with a little Celtic symbol on top. A boat, but not just a boat. A boat with oars. <laughs> little oars. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man, now that is cool. That is so cool right there. Ah, one fell out. Oh man, that is just, that is just so neat. I love this. Oh, that's so cool. Let's see, oh, another kind of tent. Looks like kind of like a teepee type. Uh, it's uh, got a bunch of, um, a bunch of animal skins around it. 
Ooh, looks like a rock formation. Ooh, that's kind of neat. I love terrain, I love terrain. A rock formation, cool. What's this here? Oh, it looks like a little, little, uh, little altar for your sack of rice. Ah, sack of rice, sack of rice, delicious. Um, oh, a little, um, a little clock, you know, a little sundial there. Hmm. Ah, oh, a rug. Looks like a sleeping mat. Another sleeping bag. And another tent, a bigger tent. Ah. Well, definitely, there's going to be a giveaway with some of this stuff. And we'll have to see what is given away. Maybe we'll let the winner choose. Right? Why not? Why not? Right? Uh, that sounds pretty cool. I like that idea. I like that idea. Let the winner choose a couple of them that they like. Uh, if you choose the doors, I'm a, I'm a, I'll buy my doors, you know. <laughs> but those are awesome doors. Um, the Blacksmith Forge, that's so cool. Little tents and stuff for outside. You guys gotta be excited about this. This is so cool. Um, yeah, I'll start painting, and then when we get to the giveaway finale, um, you know, um, we'll we'll see what, what who gets it, you know, what you want. You know, this is gonna be, oh, this is so cool. All right, so those could be our 3D printed items. I asked if they were gonna send me some 3D printed stuff that they send it separately, just so we could see the, the different things, right? Okay. We also got some, some cool swag here. We've got uh, a couple stickers, cool button from the company, Skated Crafts, and, and a neat little, little 3D printed keychain there. Uh, we'll, we'll leave those as part of the giveaway too. Uh, that's that's fun stuff. Fun stuff. All right. Let's see what we got in the next box here. Now this box is probably going to be mostly the stuff that I ordered because I ordered more stuff. Uh, they took a little hiatus from working because of you know family and family stuffs and things like that. And life happens. And so as soon as I saw them back in business, I jumped jumped on that day and uh, and ordered more. And spoke with uh, with Crystal. She's one of the one of the owners. Uh, wonderful person. Wonderful person. I can't encourage you guys. M I, please go and check them out on Etsy uh, and uh, order some of their stuff. They've got some great videos too. Uh, you know they're they're so good as to show videos, not just of their their miniatures, but how to mold your own miniatures out of their miniatures for yourself. I mean, their videos are, I mean, that's, 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 that's generous. I mean, that's really cool. All right, let's see here. Okay, got a little, little thank you note. You're welcome, Crystal. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. This is definitely more than two pounds of stuff. Last time I ordered two pounds, they sent me like six. <laughs> now every once in a while you get like a little broken piece or something, you know, cause this is, you know, um, you know, and stuff happens in the mail. But last time I ordered all of the other stuff, I think I had like one little teeny broken piece that I just used as a broken barrel. Your order, two pounds of scatter. This is my order. Let's see what I got. Now this time, I didn't order the tavern scatter, I ordered dungeon scatter and terrain. You gotta be a little gentle with it because it is it is a type of plaster. But the way I have mine boxed, I have it on these little um, these little uh, foam pieces, and I have them stacked on top of each other. I haven't had one break yet. I just have that in the pencil box. Look at this.
<laughs> Woo! Look at that! Awesome. So we've got wooden planks and we've got pillars. These are to build walls with. All sorts of stonework. Chests. Ooh. Nifty. Oh man, little windows and things. See, look at this, this is just so cool. You can build such neat things with all these. These little pieces, it's, it, you know, they all kind of go together in however you want your 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 game to look like. Uh, I, I So what I do is I take mine and I separate them. I separate out the things that are made from obviously wood, from the things that are made from obviously stone, and any windows that have window panes on them. The ones with the window panes, I, I prime white. Easiest to paint the you know, window and stuff that way. The ones that are wooden, I paint them, prime them black. That way all I have to do is dry brush them brown. They're good to go. You can do a little more than that, but they're good to go at that point. The stone ones, I prime gray. That way all I have to do is do a dry brush of a lighter gray and a light dry brush of a white. You can add a little wash after that if you want, but you've got your stonework. Uh, you know, I did all of the all of this other stuff that I have done in no time, in no time at all. Um, and in fact, I've given away a lot of what I was given, like just to people that you know, like, oh, you like that? Here, have it. Um, and I still have a ton. I, I mean, I, I yeah, I still have a ton. Oh, this is so cool, guys. All these little pieces to put together, little spiral columns. Right? Little chests and things. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Well, if this is my order, what's the other three things? Let's see. I'm not pushing you away because I dislike you. I'm just pushing you to, this, to the side because I need you to move. Cool. Dungeon and building. Okay, all right. Oh. See what we got, oh, more doors. Now, okay, so here's a door, here's a window. So this I would just prime white. That way I can go through and I could paint it with, uh, you know, like the Citadel uh, gemstone colors and make it actually like a, um, a stained glass window. Um, oh boy, and that's a regular door. You know, it's like a little, it's the big boss door, right? That's when, you know, like Link goes in to fight Ganon, it's that door, right? Cool. Oh, so this is all stuff to build your dungeon, okay? We've got little, like, little places. Where, wait, it looks like stuff goes on there. It looks like things go on there. So you've got little, little, uh, like, areas for your dungeon. Oh, man, that's so cool. All sorts of little uh, archways and things that you can build. So you can build up, like... Really cool, you know, archway and stuff. And I like to support it with, um, you know, my uh, foam. I use just the XPS foam like I mentioned in other videos. And it's so fun, it's like building a puzzle. But it's your own puzzle and that's however you want it to look. Oh man, so cool. All sorts of little things, little, little, oh, little, little windows, what are those, archer windows? Uh, Boy, all oh, stalagmites and stalactites, little rocks and things. This is all for building a dungeon room right here. You could build up a whole room with this stuff. 
and you could use it again and again. Uh, uh, I mean, your imagination is, is your key. Now, if you go on to Cicada, Cicada Crafts, um, their YouTube, they'll show you what these are used for specifically. Um, they'll show you how to build the little, um, the little uh, dungeon pieces in the walls and things. Uh, so if, if you're confused by what you see, make sure you go check out their YouTube channel, okay? And them on Etsy so you can kind of see what they have. All right, stonework, lots of stonework. <laughs> All right, I can't believe there's so much more. Oh, there's even more than two more. <laughs> oh, you guys really wanted me painting, didn't you? Oh, this is fun. Oh, this is good. You said happy painting. You weren't joking, Crystal. Oh, boy. All right. I'm going to open them up, but I think I'm going to keep them in the bag just so that we don't get them mixed up. One pound, new category, Battlefield. Battlefield. Oh, oh. So we've got things like wooden planks, big wooden planks like um, spaces that you can put down. Things you can build on there. Rocks and, and it looks like fences, stone fences. Oh, these are sandbags. Sandbags, so that you, for, you know, like building up a, um, a defense. You know, you put up sandbags, for your army fighting. Neat, all sorts of boards and things, so you can build your trenches and that kind of thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. And you guys, you guys, this is all considered off, you know, off cast and imperfect. And I, it all looks perfect to me. I mean, I can see a few little nicks and necks and dings and stuff. There are little bubbles in the, in the mold, but it's perfect. You guys, you guys can't get a better deal on terrain and stuff. I mean, and, and once you paint it, it actually gets a little bit more durable too. I mean, these, oh, I love this stuff so much. Wow. Yeah, so we just got a lot more stonework and walls, different kinds of stonework. Uh, things for ruined, um, ruined, uh, ruins, <laughs> ruined ruins. Uh, oh man, little wooden boards and stuff. Oh, how fun. Oh, this is fun. Oh, we're not done yet though. sci-fi. So for Warhammer players, Warhammer 40k, which I played, I would have played the Orcs, you know. I also played Necromunda and Gorkamorka, all uh, games by the, the same company there. Oh, wow. Sci-fi, huh? Oh, we got little engines. Laboratories. Little, oh, pipes and things. Little pipes, right? Oh, looks like a, like a little gun there. I bet you attaches to another piece. <laughs> yep. Right there, right? You got him right there? Right, that's cool, that's cool. That's really cool. Oh, wow. Ah, and so you got walls and things like that that are, are more sci-fi. You know, you've got your, uh, your, um, uh, you know, like your, your, this reminds me of like either like Star Wars, you're walking by, or, or, or Thor Ragnarok, you know, with, uh, with a uh, Korg, you know, he goes and kicks the wall, he's like, stupid ghost, and he kicks the wall, right? This is, that was, this is, that was this wall. But you see it didn't break, good blaster. Korg's my favorite. Oh, a little computer station. A little computer station, right? Oh, that's so nifty. 
That's so cool. Oh man, a little radio and a little little station like this, a little something that reminds me of like Fallout, something you'd see in Fallout. Oh, more pipes and more little thing. Oh wow. Oh, like a little little. Uh, that, that reminds me of like what is it? Was like like um like that Hal from that one movie, right? That space movie. We got some big big pipes and stuff. Oh man, the sci-fi is really cool. Makes me kind of want to play a sci-fi adventure. Hmm. Neat stuff, neat stuff. Oh, wow. That's so cool. That's a little claw. Does that mean that there's something else to put together in here that is like a mech or something? Who knows? Well, well I'll tell you later. I'll, I'm, I'm sure I, I'm not going to be able to not tell you. I, I get too excited. I can't believe we got sent so much to home. This is so cool. Oh man. If anybody else wants to sponsor us or anything, you guys are gonna have to like really like, you have a, yeah, big shoes to fill. Oh my. All right. One pound tavern accessories. Oh, these are good. Now these are good. Oh, oh good, I get more of what I needed. Oh good, okay. I only had one bed, so I got another bed now. Awesome. Awesome. Oh yeah, more, so we got more fires, more chairs, more desks and tables, uh, more little kegs. The little kegs, actually they're wall kegs, and they actually have little, a little thing that sits up underneath them. Right, so they can, so they can stand. <gasps> but next to that, not worry about that, I'll show you this. So this right here, I don't know if this here is a table. I thought it was a table and it needed like a little table thing. My wife said it was a hobbit door. Well, when we were doing the stone giant, as you guys saw in the other video, my wife goes, her name's Crystal too, um, uh, but you know, CH Crystal, the crystal from Cicada Crafts, that's, that's you know, just C-E-R Crystal, you know, the different spelling, okay. So um, she was like, my wife goes, this could be a shield. You know, it's a hobbit door or a, or a table, I don't care. She goes, put little rubber bands on it or something and make it into a shield for him. He's got his arm out like, he's good. And I was like, Crystal, that's brilliant. Brilliant! And so that's what we did, right? Oh man, this is so cool. Like a little uh, little wardrobe, right? Your little, I don't have a lion or a witch in here, but we've got a wardrobe. We've got a wardrobe. Oh, ones I didn't even have. Oh, like a cuckoo clock or something. Sorry, I'm probably getting my head in the shots here up above. I'm just getting too excited. Oh, more doors. It's like a dungeon door. Oh, wow. Little pieces and things. Oh, man. That little logs and little fires. Oh, man. So cool. So cool. All right. Ready for the last one? I am. Oh, boy. Last but not least. <sighs> New molds, mini castle cubes, six millimeter, here starts dot com. I don't know what that means, but I, I'm excited. Sized, and it looks, it almost looks like you can stack them on top of each other. This is for when you're playing different styles of games. When you're playing games with smaller miniatures, really small miniatures. Um, there's a board games out there that are like D&D uh, &D related and things like that that I've seen that use just teeny tiny little miniatures. I wonder if that's what this is for. Oh, and it has the, 
her, her, H-I-R-S-T-A-R-T-S dot com. Her starts. I bet you it's, you gotta go check that out. I'll check that out later too. Um, I bet you that has to do with these. That is really cool. Look, little like castles and stuff. And if that has that on the bottom, I wonder, I'm guessing they all kind of stack so you can stack them up. That's really neat. That's really cool. Be even cooler if you, you know, shrunk your party down. Maybe they got shrunk by a curse from an evil witch and they were teeny tiny, you know, like, honey, I shrunk the kid's size, like, itty bitty. And they had to run through this maze, this gauntlet of, uh, of rooms and monsters that were teeny as well. <laughs> or maybe the monsters were full-sized. Ooh. <laughs> uh, that's really cool. Really cool. Tops of little towers and things. Yeah, they're all little squares that stack up on top of each other and make a little castle and stuff. You can make a whole castle with this. There's all sorts of little rooms and things and stuffs. I mean, that's really cool. How neat is that? Right, so you can build your own little village and stuff with these. That's so cool. Oh man, oh man. Or your players could be enlarged and this could be the actual village and they're the same size miniatures they always have been, but now they're Godzilla sized. What do they do? People running in terror, ah, and they're like, no, we don't want to hurt you. Stomp, stomp. You can use these for that, boy. Oh man, the brain starts ticking, right? What neat stuff. Um, Wow. So uh, so I just want to say thank you, Cicada Crafts. Thank you so much. You guys are a blessing to the community. You do so much and, and you know, ask for so little. Uh, Cicada does ask that if you if you order from them, please take some pictures of the, the games when you're playing them or something so they can see the, their figures in action. It's, it really excites them. Um, uh, and check them out on YouTube. They're, they're, they have older videos, but they're they're solid, good videos. Um, this is fun. This is fun. So, um, folks, make sure that you are, um, you are liking and subscribing, that you're commenting on this video to be able to win our next giveaway of the, uh, of the, uh, the obelisk, right? Um, and then in the next video, we will be giving away some of this. Now, make sure you comment down in the comments whether or not you want the miniatures painted or unpainted if you win. We'll see the majority wants them painted, we'll paint them. If the majority wants them unpainted, we'll leave them unpainted. And you'll get to choose from our selection of the 3D printed materials uh, of uh, your, which ones you want to choose. And we'll like, uh, we'll give you more than one, don't worry. Um, uh, yeah, so, uh, man, I'm just so excited. This was just so neat. Um, you know, I, I, just a little final thought, folks. I want you to know, you know, Generosity pays off. Uh, you know, I'm not a big karma person, but boy, it sure makes me smile when someone helps me out. And giving someone else just a little bit of something can sure make their day brighter. Um, and you guys are great folks. Uh, just to just remember that, that, that giving's good and it, and it warms the heart and it warms your heart too. Um, uh, gosh, it just fills up with love. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys. Um, uh, we'll see you in the next episode, and keep on crafting.